in this video I'm going to be giving you a demo of some new features that have been added into Listing EX firmware 1.12 specifically relating to CV gate inputs in the polywave table and SD multi-sample algorithms. These algorithms have always been polyphonic um, in that you could give them CV gate pairs up to three to play chords. What's been added uh, now is some new modes where you've got multiple CV inputs for a single gate which makes it particularly useful with modules like the Instruo Harmony here, um, where basically you can output a um, number of related pitch CVs defining a chord. These CVs don't have to come from the same module. Uh, this is just a particularly convenient way to demo it. So at the moment, I've got polywave table mode hooked up to the Harmony, uh, output from the listing straight out to the speakers. And the harmony is in performance mode. So when I press a key, it fires the gate and outputs some CVs. Now at the moment, I've just got a single CV gate pair here. So let's change that to one of the new modes. Two CVs, one gate. Now, convenient reference when you're changing these things, if you remember, hold down V on the listing EX, it gives you a key of what is happening on the different CV gate inputs. So in this mode, two CVs, one gate, I've got these two as CVs and that as a gate. So if I now play the harmony, I've got um, thirds because the way this is set up at the moment is we've got root third, fifth, seventh. But why stop there? Let's add another CV input, three CVs, one gate. Try it. And then four CVs, one gate. We've got a seventh chord. Um, there is actually a mode for five CVs, one gate, which would use that as an extra pitch input. Um, I don't have five pitch outputs here, but let's stick with four. So there, um, you've got instant chords happening from wherever. Um, you can, obviously, they're CV inputs, so you can mess with the notes while they're sounding change the voicing. Um, you can use the slew even on the harmony here. Let's wind that up. Suddenly gone, kind of mid-90s drum and bass chordy. Very jazzy. Um, so that's the chords. Um, now the other thing that we've changed in 1.12 is the, the interaction of chords and arpeggios. The built-in arpeggiator on the Disting EX always used to require that the chord mode uh, be activated because that's how it would know what notes to arpeggiate over. But now we've got multiple CV inputs, we can have it arpeggiate over just these notes that are input. Or we can use both features together and get it to generate a chord for every CV and then arpeggiate over the whole lot combined. So let's just, um, so we've got four notes here. Uh, let's go to our arpeggiator. There we go. Uh, so arpeggiator mode is currently off. Um, and let's give it a constant uh, gate from the disting here rather than me having to press the button all the time. So there's our chord. Uh, so if we change the mode, then it's arpeggiating over the notes. And I've only got three notes. Did I leave the input mode on three? Yes. So we've got all four notes. So that's using all four inputs now to arpeggiate over. Like so. And all the arpeggiated modes uh, work. So that's up, down, and there's also this new mode that's been added for this um, update specifically called As Played, which will use the order of the pitch CVs as defined by the inputs rather than any particular sorting from low to high. So I think if we do that one, for example, it's now going bum 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 bum, so it's low, middle, down a bit, then up, because that's the order in which the notes are coming through. So 
that's all rather lovely. Um, and we can, of course, use the arpeggio range still to get another octave. Um, and let's put it back to up. Now, as I said before, you can use the chords as well. So let's go to, um, let's just have two CVs. So at the moment, it's just arpeggiating over those two notes. If we go back to chord mode and enable that, and now it's generating an octave within the chord, two octaves or a fifth. A triad. So now for each of the notes it's getting from the harmony is building a triad on top of that and arpeggiating over the whole lot. So we've got six notes in our arpeggio and if we change our arpeggio mode to as played you can clearly hear those two triads because it's building a triad on the first note playing those and then building a triad on the second note and playing those in turn. So this can get quite um, involved quite rapidly, as you can imagine. If we put our input mode to all four, now it's building a whole load of notes. Tons of notes at the press of a button. So um, that's polywave table. Now all the same stuff is in SD multi sample. So let's just demo that as well because there's some also some new stuff in SD multi sample to show. So algorithms choose single SD multi sample. Let's go for our old favorite, if we can find it, soft piano. Plug that back in there. Uh, then what have we got? That's fine. So then we'll go to input mode. So that's the chord uh, generation. Uh, it's going to wind the gate off up a little bit. And then let's. Um, Drop it an octave, I think it sounds nicer. There we go. And then we'll give it um, some arpeggiation as before. Where are we going? There we go. And then let's throw in some of the new features while we've got that running. Uh, we'll give it some um, output spread, which is new. And we'll give it some delay, which is also new. Control's new too. But we won't play with that. Pedios, uh, let's put that to this played, and we'll put some chords on this as well. Um, the joy of this, of course, is we can quantize in the disting to, to different tonalities than the harmony thinks it's generating. So if we put that into a C minor, we can get a minor chord, even though the harmony is generating major key triads. So it all gets hugely confusing, but it sounds lovely. And then we'll generate some extra notes. Release time a little bit. 
Get another octave in there. Anyway, so um, new features in firmware 1.12 on the Disting EX, um, for the polywave table and SD multi-sample modes.